G'day guys, we've got a probability question today which involves independent events. We've got A and B are such that the probability of A or B occurring is 0.4 and the probability of A occurring is 0.25. Now we're asked to find the probability of B. So what I like to do is I like to draw a Venn diagram so it's easier for me to see what the hell is going on. So I am made aware that the probability of the union of A and B or all of A and B is 0.4 and the probability of A occurring is 0.25. So what I like to do is I'm going to write 0.25 in this A part of the Venn diagram. Now that is going to account for this part and the middle part. So if we know that the both of them, the union of the two events is 0.4, then we know that the probability of just B occurring is going to be 0.4. 0.15 or 0.4 take 0.25. So what I've got now is I've got this middle section or the intersection or of the two events A and B or probability of A and B occurring and I'm just going to call that X. Cool, so if this is X then the probability of just A occurring or A and not B occurring is going to be equal to 0 0.25 subtract x. Cool, so what I've done now is I've put all of my information that I've been given in the question into my Venn diagram. Now what I've been told next is both events A and B are independent. Now you need to be aware that for independent events the probability of event A occurring given that event B has just occurred is just equal to the probability of event A occurring. So from this formula we can derive another formula that uh, takes into account this probability of A given B. So the probability, let's just write this down, of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersect B or A and B occurring divided by the probability that B is occurring. Now that all up has to be equal to the probability of A occurring. Cool. So what we're going to do from here guys is we're going to substitute in information that we know. So the probability of A and B occurring in our situation is X. Cool. And this is going to be divided by the probability of B occurring which is 0 0.15 plus x, and that has to be equal to the probability of A, which is 0 0.25. Cool, so from here guys, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use algebra to solve for x. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first take the denominator over to the other side, and I'm gonna have x is equal to 0 0.25 times 0 0.15 plus x, which is equal to 0 0.0375 plus 0.25x. Cool, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 0.25x to the other side. So x takes 0.25x is 0.75x. That's going to be equal to 0 0.0375. And I'm going to divide both sides by 0 0.75. Cool. And what we finish up with, guys, is we finish up with, let's just write it over here, x is equal to 0 0.05. Cool, so what we can do is we're going to sub that into our Venn diagram. And so this one here, 0 0.25 takes 0 0.05 is going to be 0 0.2. And so the probability of B, guys, we can say, therefore, the probability of B is equal to 0 0.15 plus 0 0.05 or 0 0.2. Cool. So there you have it, guys. What we did here is, first of all, when I get a question like this, I always like to draw a Venn diagram. It makes everything a lot easier to set out and a lot easier to visualize what you have to do. What I then did is I used the fact that these are independent events to set up this formula here. 
And from this formula, I then just substituted in the information that we were given. Once I'd done that, it was just a case of not screwing up the algebra, and then we were home and hosed with the probability of B equaling 0 0.2. So I hope the video helped, guys. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Um, if you'd like me to try and have a go at solving one of your problems, please leave it in the comments section below, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But until next time, guys, just keep practicing, practicing, practicing. With maths, it's all about practice. If you keep banging your head against the wall, eventually the wall will fall down. But until next time, guys, have fun.